More invites have recently been sent out for the Halo 2 PC flighting experience, as well as a new build of the flight to give you some new fixes coming to the game as well. So make sure you have the proper build to check you got an invite for this weekend. And also a Halo MCC playlist update for us all to enjoy. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos and you'd like to see more of them, make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel a lot guys. So let's get right into the content here. As we do every Friday, Postums goes on Halo Waypoint and gives us a nice little MCC dev update to kind of give us a little weekly stepping point of where we're at and what's going on with the MCC as a whole. As you all know right now, that flighting for PC Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary is going on right now at the moment and it's coming to a close guys. The last day is April 26th and we did notice a little bit of a population dip as well so they're actually sending out some new invites as we'll get into how to find your invites later in this video but let's go into some information first about this patch update so first off over 100,000 people were invited to this Halo 2 and Halo 2 anniversary flighting process on the Steam and Microsoft stores as well which I think is a nice little bit of information to know how many people are getting these invites as we did see a little bit of a dip of population when it comes to the last few days I noticed all my streams which link in the description down below if you want to check me out on Twitch a lot of people have been coming in saying I can't find matches, what's going on? I know we did have a previous issue with Relay System when it comes to the MCC, but I believe that's been fixed. So I think it's just more of an issue of population. So that's why they're sending out some more invites. So this weekend, guys, you get a chance to jump in and play some MCC Halo 2 on PC. We do have a few notable bug fixes. If you guys remember, I did upload a video saying the 10 known issues with MCC, blah, 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 kind of stuff like I did, you know, about by every other build I've done. And I outlined like the 10 most prominent errors that are going on with this. Now, now, uh, there are a ton more well, beyond this list, and I'm not going to name off everything, but I'm giving you guys the list of uh, four different bug fixes that happened that are certain, certainly noticeable. Some things I came across and things that are more gameplay oriented. If you guys want to see all the updates, I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to read all that. But these are the more prominent errors that were happening. So the first error we have is... Uh, we have taken the first pass at the behavior for crouching while moving in Halo 2. If you guys do not know that actually in classic Halo 2, you cannot crouch while moving. Very similar how it was back in Halo Reach before they updated that. Now, and also in Halo 2 Anniversary, you actually can crouch on mouse and keyboard uh, while moving at full speed. So we're looking to change that up. Okay, so I just jumped into a little Halo 2 custom game, guys. So you can see it. previously when you were moving at full speed, you were not able to crouch at all playing on the Halo 2 Classic. Now while I'm playing on mouse and keyboard and I hit my crouch button while moving at full speed, I'm able to crouch now. All right, so that's a great addition for you mouse and keyboard players such as myself who have uh, been enjoying that feature when it comes to Halo 2 Anniversary, but in the for classic version of the Halo 2 flighting process, you were not able to crouch, but now you can, so get that to look forward to. You guys also want to take note of the build that you're playing in the lower right hand corner, as you can see down below, this is pre-release 1.1499.0.0, and then you have your gamer tag right there. That's super important to know about because if you're playing a different build, it will actually directly affect your matchmaking ability. So make sure that you go on the Steam and you update the game right there. And also same thing on the Windows Store, you have to go in and manually update your game right there. That will directly affect you being able to find matches in this flight. So make sure you keep you guys up to date with that updated build. Some other bug fixes were the crash before reaching the last area of Delta Halo. I personally experienced this on my stream as well, which this was a known issue. I've actually had the same issue on the Xbox as well. So it is great to see that this was fixed. I actually got a fatal error pop up when I got to that last platform right before you fight those honor guards to finish off the mission in Delta Halo. Really glad to hear that was fixed right there. And you also have another fix of stability was improved in several situations. Obviously there's been occasional uh, crashes in here there. I've experienced them, but nothing too game breaking, but glad to see that's been fixed up as well. And also a weird feature that I didn't realize that switching grenades didn't function while dual wielding in Halo 2 Anniversary. Glad to see that was fixed, obviously, because 
you know, that was a feature you could do on the original game, so glad to see that was updated. And like I said, there are multiple other kind of fixes that happened with this. I'm just going to mention you guys the more uh, gameplay related ones. So if you want to see everything, link in the description down below for that. Now, I did make a community post on my channel here, guys. So if you're subscribed, you're able to see that as soon as the news hit that this uh, flight did get some more invites. And a lot of you have stated, like, yes, you're able to get your invites now, which is fantastic. Though I'm sure many of you don't know exactly how to get your invites. So I'll cut this clip out from a previous video to show you how to do it. I was checking my emails over and over again, wasn't getting an email. So apparently with this time with the invites, with the is sending a notification that you got invited and then you go to Halo Waypoint to accept your invite and get the information that you need. But uh, for me, uh, it seemed like the emails were rolling out a bit later than your actual invites to Halo Waypoint. So what I did is that I went to halowaypoint.com, signed in. As you can see, I'm signed in up here in the upper right. And over here, you check out your messages. Boom, that's where my flight notification is right there. Top of the things you could possibly read in your messages. You click on that, it will give you your either your Steam code you need to type in to be able to download it or your Windows Store access as well. We also recently received a MCC playlist update as we do during the weeks here, guys. So this is what happened for us all. So rotational playlist changes rotated Halo 2 Reach CE anniversary into the featured slot for the social 4v4. Rotated shoddy snipers out rotated experimental AR start BTB out as well. Now I finally saw this AR start <laughs> playlist, I guess you want to call it, like get uh, rotated out. I found it kind of irrelevant or not even really worth bothering with, but there, at the time when Reach came out, a lot of people were complaining about the DMR starts because it's a hit scan weapon. It's kind of hard to move around. I played a little bit of the AR playlist and honestly, I just like the DMR more. The long range engage engagements that you come across in the BTB are much more suited to the DMR than you have like a pistol or assault rifle. Yes, it is easier to move around, but it's not as fun. And so that's why I'm glad to see this get rotated out. I never really heard any feedback about this once it was implemented, but I'm assuming that most people aren't really caring a whole lot about Reach BTB. I mean, it's still fun. I still like jump in and play it occasionally. I hope that nothing really changes and it stays the same as, as it is right now. For Halo Reach CE Anniversary, this is actually a ton of fun, guys. You definitely want to jump in and get a chance to play this, especially since you get a chance to play the CE Anniversary maps that were added in for Halo Reach's multiplayer and how they meant to be played. Uh, they play out really well, guys. Solitary and High Noon, I guess we call it, or the uh, Hang em High remake play out much better than they do on the uh, vanilla reach settings or the, even a title update settings for sure. Now, a really great playlist update I was really excited for, for at first was Halo Reach hardcore settings have been changed up a little bit. Partial team matching has been enabled, so teams of three or more will be only matching against teams of three or more. Very important when it comes to ranking up in Halo Reach. They've also reduced the skill rank matching restrictions, which previously it's, it was plus or minus 10 of your current rank. So if I'm, I'm a rank 22, so I'll be only matching against people who are level 12 or 32, which sound, seems about fair. But uh, when I jumped in and tried to play this, uh, I didn't find a match. Of course, given I was searching on a weeknight, that sure certainly has a thing on PC as well, so that certainly could, certainly could be a factor with that. Um, I recently did get some information on Twitter from another Halo player stating that it restrict it lowered the restrictions of players who were like level 50 can now match people as low as level 30, which obviously doesn't affect me too much because I'm a level 22, and so I'm still not able to find any matches sadly in Halo Reach Hardcore. At this point, I'm willing just to just remove all restrictions just so I can at least play the game because it's a ton of fun. I miss playing Reach Hardcore settings and they you know, was grinding that when the game first came out and then it just died off within two months sadly uh, but you know we'll see what happens with that of course i would also really like to see invasion been moved to social i'm sure you'll be finding a lot more matches that way as well and lastly to top off the playlist updates we have global double xp event it's still going on right now for your mcc players but it's going to be active until the 29th which is going to be this wednesday global double xp will be removed so you tier one to 100 grinders or you're just XP grinders out there, that's when the date will end. So get your grind on when you can for, until the end of this month, guys, because that will be a while until we get some more double XP. So yeah, guys, that's everything to do with this uh, MCC dev update for you guys. As all, we have some new playlist updates. We also got a new flight build as well. I'll definitely jump in and give it a play through as well as I've been playing a ton on my Twitch, guys. So if you'd like to see some more live gameplay or just hang out with me and chat, uh, interact with me you know, on a one-on-one -on -one level pretty much, 
Check out my Twitch channel, link is in the description down below. I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys come out and follow me over there. So what are your thoughts on the different changes and updates when it comes to the MCC? Leave it in the comment section down below as I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you like these news, informational videos, and you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe so it keeps yourself up to date, that's for sure. If you're new to my channel or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I have a playlist to all my recent news and videos, so if you've been out of the loop for the last few days, check that out. And another video if you want to see some more content from me. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.